so I'm just going to do this really quick introduction to Juice. So if you don't have Juice and you're looking to get it, you can go to shop.juice.com forward slash get dash juice. You can download it there. Uh, you have a couple different license options here. If you're in school or if you're like me using a personal license, you can just download it. It's free. And then you just have this splash screen that appears in the bottom right hand corner. It says made with juice. Uh, if you're an indie, you can pay $35 a month. That's if you earn less than 200K a year. Or if you're earning the big bucks, then you can go with the pro plan, which is $65 a month. So when you download juice, I'm just going to go through what you actually get. Uh, when you first open up Juice, this is what you'll see. You have a couple different templates that you can go with here. So you have an audio application if you want to make a DAW or a standalone application. You also have an audio plugin. And what these do is if you click on these, you can actually uh, they'll set up your kind of template files uh, to get you ready to actually build these type of applications. Another thing that's really useful is if you go down here to the bottom right, you, uh, Juice actually has a bunch of useful tutorials courtesy of the Juice team where once you click on that link, you actually have a whole bunch of tutorials on audio, on building a synth, MIDI, plugins, DSP, graphics, interface design, mobile, and all kinds of utility classes. And if that wasn't enough, you can also browse Juice demos. So if you click this center button here, this will actually open a uh, app called the Demo Runner, where you can actually browse different demos. So these actually have most of the different uh, example pieces of example code. So all you do is you just click in here, you click on one of these, and then you have you have uh, just this code here. You can actually look at the code itself as well. So you can check out the code there like that. You have your settings here if you want to change your sound card. So that's the demo runner, which is kind of a all-in-one solution if you want to check out all of the demos. But you can also just check out one of the demos, uh, one of the pieces of example code at a time. If you go to applications, uh, if you're on a Mac, you go into your juice folder, and you can go into examples, and then you can pick one of these. So like, let's just do UI, and then what you have are what uh, are these little files here. And all you need to do is just click one and drag it into your producer, if it lets me do it. There we go. And see, it formulates a, uh, a project here for you. Then all you do is just click on the center, the center button here. And then this allows you to save the project. So you just have to save it. So I'm going to save it here to my desktop. You see here it's just saved a new project to the desktop, and now it will open it up in Xcode, and then I can just build it. And it's just building. And while it's doing that, I will show you one more thing. So one other thing I'll point out for beginners is if you go into the project itself, If you go into the project, if you go into the project itself, you'll actually. This is kind of the structure of a of a Juice project, which is that you have all of your builds. Uh, if you're running on different OSs, all of your build files will be in here. You have your Juice library code, which is all contained here. So these are your core kind of framework files. Then you have your own source files here, which are contained here, and your Juicer. Uh, your juicer project. One key thing to keep in mind, so this is actually the built file, so these are some widgets here that you can that you can use. Uh, so very useful if you're trying to figure something out. Normally there's a good example in the juice uh, examples that you can check out. And one other thing just to keep in mind is that when you're trying to add new source files, make sure that you add them from the juicer rather than just adding them in Xcode because what will happen is if you add them in your IDE, uh, they'll actually disappear. So make sure that you add them in the juicer and use save and open in IDE. So that's it. That's an introduction to juice. Hope you enjoyed it. 
and uh, thank you very much. Let's have a beer. Uh, thank you. Thank you to, uh, I want to give a quick shout out once again to our sponsors, Focus Right and Sonox for, uh, for sponsoring us. And we have some food that we're going to actually be serving very shortly. So we have some finger food. And uh, also make sure you grab some drinks at the bar. Thanks once again to Strong Room for supporting us and having us here. And uh, let's have a great time.